Okay, so it's now Sunday. Um, it's a bit later than yesterday, about half an hour now, and I'm gonna go back to finishing off the overrider, which I couldn't finish yesterday because I had to go out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna f not overrider, a uh, bonnet hinge um, support. I'm gonna finish off this left, s sorry, the r yeah, sorry, the left side one. And then I'll have an investigation on the right side one and see what I need to do for that one. Probably the same I've done for this one.
Okay, so there we go. That's that hole patched on this side. It came out all right. I'm sure a better welder would have got it done a lot quicker than I did, but it's it's solid now. There's no hole there. I only need to spray that and miss that bit. But I'll spray that with the primer, and then I can move on to this side. Now this side, I'll show you the, dam the damage on this side before I start chopping it. I bet you can't see that because of the light. But as you can see, it's got a few rust holes in that bottom piece. The bottom plate is rusted quite badly as you can see and it's got rust on that side. I'm hoping with this one that I can get away with just chopping about halfway down these support pieces so that the pieces I put in can just be seam welded all the way along and I don't lose this good upper flange you know it looks great the whole length I'm going to take it all the way to the front and I might even cut the front off this one now I know that I've done that one well and I've now I know that I've done that one well and I've got reference I may just chop the whole front off this so that I can get that weld all the way up to the end on this side
Okay, so I've done a little bit off camera because I had to charge the batteries. But all I've basically done is weld in the back plate and cut all the pieces that I'm about to weld. Anyway, it's well, it, it's terribly welded in. Very rough weld, but you know, as I said, I started to practice a lot with the welder, but I had to fill a big hole here on this side with just weld and then grind it back, but that's solid anyway, it's closed up that hole, which is good. Um, I'm now gonna tack in the middle arch piece into that bit and then use that to help me shape the top piece to fit perfectly between the two side posts. So I'll set you back up with the camera stand and we'll get to that now. Okay, it's quite late now, um, so I'm going to be done for the day, but the good thing is, I finished the second overrider, so both the front overriders are good and solid, it'll easy to support the weight of the bonnet, especially if I end up doing a fiberglass bonnet, but because there is a lot wrong with that bonnet, also lightening the car, considering how low powered it is, is never going to be a bad thing, but we'll see, because I could end up still doing the original steel bonnet. But yeah, that's everything that needs to be welded on, welding on. So, I'm quite happy with that. Um, next episode then will be painting the chassis with the um, post office red chassis paint that I got. Um, I think it's going to look amazing once that's been painted. I'm going to roll her on for the majority of it and then just cut in with the brush and the bits that need cutting in. And yeah, it should be great, but... Do I need to do, no, I don't need to do any patch holes on the other side. Nope, that's that's it. That's everything. Good, done, and proper.